Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change camera in runtime in your game in Unreal Engine 5. So it should look like something like this. You can see we have our character and when we go here the camera is changing and again when we get out of that line the camera will go back to the third person right so let me show you how we can do that so first of all i want to thank my patreon supporter for help for helping me to create all of this video and second you should know the the project that i'm working on that i'm showing you all of this stuff i created from scratch even i did download the character and i did show you how you can make it game ready how you can rig it and how you can import it to Unreal, how you can retarget all the animation how you can use montages and um, blend the spaces and all of that no i want to show you how you can animate your camera to use other camera as well right so we have this game right so we can strafe there is some animation that there is a gun in hand of our character and we wanted our, ca our camera for our character to change when it's entered this um uh, hallway or whatever you want to call it right whenever it reach here we want to change the camera right so when we get out of that in here for example we want it to be back at the third person like i did show you so let me show you how you can do that so first of all we need another camera so for adding another camera just go here and in here search for camera and add a camera actor here you can see it here right if you right click on it for positioning it better you can right click on it and pilot it so no when we move we move camera with ourselves so for example like this i want to put it here or here right or here i don't know where we should put it you should decide where do you want to put it for example the our camera that we want to switch to we want it to look this way right so this is our camera now that we are finished with repositioning it right click again on it and stop piloting it okay so now our camera is over there and it's looking at here and when you click it you can see it in here it's looking at here right next thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna create trigger volume in here so whenever the player enter that trigger volume the camera will change from third person to perspective and when the uh, player gets out of that trigger volume it will get back to third person again so go here and add a volume of top of, of type of trigger volume right so this is our trigger volume i want to change its size this way and this way for example let's just move it there let me see if it's okay or not let's just make it a little bit bigger this way as well now let's just move it like this i think that's cool so let's just bring it down a little bit and we want to use this trigger volume right to change our camera now with this trigger volume selected go here click on this and open up the level blueprint you can do it wherever you want but let's just do it in level blueprint because it's easier to do it right so right click in here and at the top add event for trigger volume go to collision and create a add on uh, actor begin overlap okay so this weird trigger whatever that is connected to this execution pin when the character collide with that uh, trigger volume right we need another one for let me show you for when the actor ending it's overlap with it or it's uh, getting out of that trigger volume right click on it we have these two and that's enough for us right so next thing that we should do right click in here for changing the camera uncheck this context sensitive and search for set view target with blend okay set view target with blend and copy and paste it two times so we have it one time not two times <laughs> so 
when we enter that trigger volume execute this one and when we end when we get out of that trigger volume execute this one okay first thing that we should set in here is the target for both of these so what is the target that you want to change its camera right it should be over character that using a controller right right click and search for get player controller okay you can see there is two of them one of them is in player and one of them in player stat right we need this get player controller that is in the game folder game category in here just click on it and you can see the player index zero that is always us right connected to the target for both of them because we want to change the camera for other player right so let's just do it for the first one in here new view target it says which camera you want to switch into right which camera you want to switch into when the set view target with blend executed right so when we overlap with this trigger volume we want to change our camera to that perspective camera right so let's just again go back here click on our camera and now again go back here right click and check this context sensitive now you can create a reference to our camera actor right and when our player overlap with this trigger volume we want to change the camera from the player controller that is third perspective to this camera that we just create don't worry about all of this option i will talk about it and when it's get out of that trigger volume we want to go back to our character camera okay get player character and with this it will go back to default camera that is in our character right so now with that i think we are finished so let's just save and compile and i want to run it from here no if we go inside that trigger volume you can see it instantly change the camera and if we go out of that you can see it again get back to the third person view right so let's just talk about these options the blend time the blend time is for the time that you want to take to change the camera one to the camera two right so for example for changing camera from third person to perspective i want to take one second and for getting back i want to take two seconds for example you should play with that to decide which one is better for you so let's just again go to that volume and you can see it take one second and if we go out of that you can see it take two second no to get back at that position right so um i play with it so i think point four is enough for going from third person to perspective and one second is enough for getting back okay i think this will be much cooler okay you can see right everything is cool so no uh, another thing that i want to talk about is this blend function do you want it to be linear no well, i always use either cubic or is in and out okay let's just use cubic okay it will look very much better so let's just again go there and you can see it's it looks a little bit better you can test all the functions in here and i think that's enough for this so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye